To Jordan's water, to Jordan's water, Christ comes to, to be baptized. John the forerunner, John the forerunner, now humbly steps aside. Christ our Lord is baptized, salvation is now realized. Skies of heaven open, God the Father spoken. O'er the Jordan a dove, Holy Spirit of love, revelation from above. Christ our Lord is baptized, salvation is now realized. Skies of heaven open, God the Father spoken. O'er the Jordan a dove, Holy Spirit of love, revelation from above. Three persons in God, three persons in God, are now revealed to us. Father and Son, Father and Son, Holy Spirit, one God. Christ our God is baptized, salvation is now realized. Skies of heaven open, God the Father spoken. O'er the Jordan a dove, Holy Spirit of love, revelation from above. Christ our Lord is baptized, now humbly set and realized. Skies of heaven open, God the Father spoken. O'er the Jordan a dove, Holy Spirit of love, revelation from above. O'er the Jordan a dove, Holy Spirit of love, revelation from above. O the Father, and O the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, have mercy. For peace from the high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God. And for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, <laughs> have mercy. For our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most Reverend Metropolitan William, for our God loving Bishop Kurt, for the Venerable Presbyterate, the Deaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, <coughs> have mercy. For fair will weather, for an abundance of the fruits on the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us. O God, by your grace, Lord, have mercy.
mercy. Commemorating your most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theodokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship now and ever and forever. Amen. <coughs> Why is it, O oh, sea, yeah. that you fled? O Jordan, that you turn back? Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O oh, Savior, save us. I love the Lord because He will hear my voice in supplication. Mm -hmm. O oh, Son oh, of God, God, baptized by John in the Jordan, save, save us who sing to you. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, who be to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death. Being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, <laughs> save us. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. At your baptism in the Jordan, O Lord, worship of the Trinity was revealed for the Father's voice bore witness to you, calling you his beloved Son, and the Spirit in the form of a dove Confirm the truth of these words. O Christ, you appeared and enlighten the world. Glory to you. Wisdom be attentive. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. At your baptism in the Jordan, O, o Lord, worship of the Trinity was revealed. For the Father's voice bore witness to you, calling you his beloved Son, and the Spirit in the form of a dove confirm the truth of these words. O Christ God, you appeared and enlightened the world. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. 
You have revealed yourself to the world today, and your light, O Lord, has set its seal on us. We recognize you and exclaim to you, you have come and revealed yourself, O unapproachable light. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. <clears throat> All you who have been baptized into Christ have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. All you have been baptized into Christ, have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. All you who have been baptized into Christ, have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. All you baptized into Christ, have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. Let us be attentive. Peace be to all. Wisdom be attentive. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy <laughs> endures forever. Blessed are he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Wisdom. A reading from the epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to Titus. Let us be attentive. Titus, my son, the grace of God has appeared, offering salvation to all men. It trains us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of the great God and of our Savior, Christ Jesus. It was he who sacrificed himself for us to redeem from us from all unrighteousness and to cleanse for himself a people of his own, eager to do what is right. These are the things you are to say, Make our appeals and corrections with the authority of command. Let no one look down on you. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the baptism of new birth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. This spirit he lavished on us through Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ our Savior, that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal mm -hmm. life. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. Alleluia. Alleluia. sons of God, bring to the Lord glory and honor. Alleluia. Yeah. Alleluia. Yeah. Alleluia. Yeah. The voice of
of the Lord over the waters. The God of glory thunders, the Lord over many waters. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise them. Let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to <clears throat> you. Let us be attentive. At that time Jesus came from Galilee and appeared before John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to refuse him with the protest, I should be baptized by you, yet you come to me. Jesus answered, even for now, we must do this if we would fulfill all of God's demands. So John gave in. After Jesus was baptized, he came directly out of the water. Suddenly the sky opened and he saw the Spirit of God descend like a dove and hover over him. With that, a voice from the heavens said, This is my beloved Son, my favor rests on him. Glory <clears throat> to you, O Lord, glory to you. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have <laughs> mercy. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have <clears throat> mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis Pope of Rome, and for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Again we pray, you, o Lord, our God, hear our supplication, and through your grace, have mercy on your servant, Vincent, grant all his petitions, and pardon all his wandering and involuntary sin, accept his supplications and charitable deeds before the throne of your majesty. Safeguard him from every visible and invisible enemy, from every misfortune, distress, and affliction. Spare him from illness and grant him health and long life. Let us all say, O oh Lord, hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Loving Lord, look down with mercy.
preserves the full eyes upon your servant, all people here present and all our parishioners, and hear the supplication that we have offered up with faith. For you yourself have said, believe that you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer, and it will be yours. You also said, ask and you will receive. Because of this, unworthy as we are, we trust in your mercy and ask that you be merciful to your servant, wins, and fulfill his good desire. Keep him in peace, tranquility, and health, and grant him long life. Let us all say, O Lord, hear and graciously have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy. For those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have <clears throat> mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and <clears throat> sing the thrice holy hymn, thrice holy hymn to the Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop, and our priestly deacon and monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, and the ever honorable founders and benefactors of this holy church, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith. Always, now and ever and forever. Amen. That we may receive, may receive the King of all invisibly escorted by angelic host. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. For the precious gifts, please before us let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord our God, you created us and brought 
brought us into this life. You have shown us ways to salvation and have bestowed on us the revelation of heavenly mysteries. You yourself have appointed us to this service by the power of your Holy Spirit. Therefore, O Lord, be pleased to make us servants of your new covenant and ministry ministers of your holy mysteries according to your <clears throat> abundant mercy receive us as we draw near your holy altar so that we may be worthy to offer you this spiritual land and bloody sacrifice for our sins and for the people's feelings Receive it as a fragrant aroma upon your holy, heavenly and mystical altar, and send down upon us in return the grace of your Holy Spirit. Look upon us, O God, and behold this our worship and accept it <clears throat> as you accepted the gifts of Abel, the sacrifice of Noah, the first fruits of Abraham the priesthood of Moses and Aaron and the peace offerings of Samuel, just as you accepted this to worship from the hands of your apostles. Now, o Lord, in your goodness, accept this, these gifts from the hands of us sinners. May we who have been made worthy to minister without blame at your holy altar obtain the reward of faithful and wise stewards. <clears throat> On the fearsome day of your just retribution, grant this through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good and life rating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may profess. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, <clears throat> the, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, the light I from light, true God, God from true God, God. begotten, not made, made, one in essence with the Father, through whom, whom all things were made. made. For us and for our, our salvation, salvation he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became Amen. man. He was he crucified for us, for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy and offering peace. Mercy, peace, 
a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you and with your spirit. <clears throat> Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper <clears throat> and just. O eternal being, Master Lord God, Father Almighty and Adorable, it is truly proper and just to be fitting to the magnificence, magnificence of your holiness, to praise you, to sing you, to bless you, to worship you, to thank you, to glorify you, the only true God, and to offer you this, our spiritual worship with contrite heart and humble spirit, for you have granted us the knowledge of your truth, who is able to proclaim your might, to make known all your praises, or to recount all your mighty <clears throat> deeds in every age. Master of all, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, both visible and invisible, and from in glory yet redeeming the depths eternal, invisible, incomprehensible, boundless and changeless, Father of our great God, Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, you are revealed through him with our hope, the image of your goodness and the seal bearing your likeness. He is the living word through God, eternal wisdom, life, sanctification, power, and the true light, through whom the Holy Spirit has been revealed, the spirit of truth, the gift of filial adoption, <clears throat> the pledge of our future inheritance, the first fruits of eternal blessings, the life-creating power, the wellspring of sanctification, through whom every nation rational and intelligent creature is empowered to worship you and to offer you an unending hymn of praise for all creation service you angels archangels thrones dominions principalities virtuous powers and the many eyed cherubim Praise you. You are surrounded by the six winged seraphim. Two wings cover their face to their feet, and with two they fly. And they call one to another with never ending and never silent hymns of praise. Singing, shouting, crying aloud. And sing the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory, O Son. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son, in the highest. We Let sinners also cry out with this blessed power, so loving and kind master, and say, Holy are you, truly, all holy immeasurable in the majesty of your holiness. You are revered 
in all your works, for with righteousness and just judgment you have ordered all things for us, taking clay from the earth, you formed man and honored him with your own image, O God. You placed him in a delightful paradise and promised him immortal life and the enjoyment of eternal blessings through the observance of your commandments. But man disobeyed you, the true God who create, created him. He was led astray by the, the, the deceit of the serpent and by his own transgressions was subjected to death. In your righteousness, judgment, O God, you banished him from paradise into this world and returned him to the earth from which he had been taken, but provided for him the salvation of rebirth in your Christ. For you did not turn away from your creature forever, O God, O good one, nor forget the work of your hands. Rather, you intervened in various ways because of your merciful loving kindness. You sent prophets <coughs> and performed mighty deeds through your holy ones who have placed you in every generation. You spoke to us through the mouth of your servants, the prophets who foretold the salvation which was to come. You gave the law as an aid and appointed angels as guardians. When the fullness of time had come, you spoke to us through your own son, the very one through whom you created the ages. Although he is the reflection of your glory and the express image of your person, sustaining all things by his powerful word, he did not mean equality with you, God and Father, some think to be grasped, rather while Remaining everlasting, God, he appeared on earth and lived among men. In becoming incarnate from the Holy Virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of, of a slave, conforming himself to the lowliness of our body that he might comfort us to the image of his glory. For sins through a man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. So it pleased your only begotten Son, who is in your bosom, God and Father, to be born of a woman, the holy Theodokos and ever-Virgin Mary, to be born under the law, to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who are dead in Adam might be brought <clears throat> to life in him, your Christ. Living in this world, he gave us precepts for, the, for, the, for salvation, turned us away from the, <clears throat> the seat of idols, idols, and brought us to know you through God and Father, he purchased us for himself as a chosen people, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, clean, cleansing us with water and sanctifying us with the Holy Spirit. He surrendered himself as a ransom to death, by which we were held captive, sold into slavery under sin, descending by the cross into Hades to fulfill all things in himself. He freed us from death, <clears throat> despair, and rose on the third day, preparing the way for the resurrection of all flesh from the dead. Since corruption could not keep the 
other of life in its clutches. <clears throat> he became the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence over all. Ascending into heaven, he has taken his seat at the right hand of your majesty on high and will come to reward everyone according to his works. But he left us this memorial of his saving passion, which we have prepared according to his command. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable and life creating death, on the night when he surrendered, surrendered himself <clears throat> for the life of the world, <clears throat> He took bread into his holy and all pure hands and sanctifying and presenting it to you, God and Father. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, taking the chalice of the fruit of the wine, he mixed it, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. <clears throat> Do this in remember, remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you proclaim my death and profess my resurrection. Therefore, O Master, we also remember his saving compassion the life creating cross, the three day burial, the resurrection from the dead, the ascension into heaven, the intro enthronement at your right hand, God and Father, and his glorious and fearsome second coming, offering you your own from your own. Always and everywhere, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, our God, pray to you, our God. Holy Master, since you have allowed us sinners and unworthy servants to minister at your holy altar, not because of our righteousness, for we have done nothing good on earth, but because of your mercy and compassion, so graciously powered out upon us, we have the courage to approach your holy altar as we offer you the holy body and blood of your Christ in, his, in this form, we pray you and beseech you, O Holy of Holiness, that according to your kind favor, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon this gift here offered, and bless and sanctify them and show them this bread to be truly the precious body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, this shall is to be truly the precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Shed for the life of the world. So that all of us who share this one bread and chalice
may be united with one another in the communion of the one Holy Spirit, and that none of us partake of the holy body and blood of your Christ for judgment or condemnation. Rather, may we obtain mercy and grace together with, with all the saints who have pleased you since time began, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, mortals, confessors, ascetics, teachers, and with every just spirit brought to perfection in faith, especially with our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theodokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Exo, exo, oh my soul, oh my soul, Christ the King, baptized in the Jordan. Every tongue is at a loss to fittingly acclaim you, and even a supernatural mind is overwhelmed when it glorifies you, O Theotokos. But in your goodness accept our faith, since you recognize our godly love. You are the intercessor for Christians, and we extol you. Among the first, the Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health. For many years have they faithfully imparted the word of your truth. And remember all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. <laughs> May the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have <coughs> mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy heavenly and mystical altars and their almost spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Let we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have <laughs> mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us. O God, by your grace, Lord, have mercy. Let this holy evening be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That for, the, for what is good and beneficial of our souls, and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace. And repentance, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Our aggression, painless, unashamed, peaceful, and of our life and for a good account before the fierce and judgment seat of Christ. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for a communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life. To Christ our God. To you, O Lord. God, the God of our 
of salvation teach us to give you, you. Worthy thanks for the bound is your help. Bestow them, continue to bestow on us. As you have accepted these gifts, O our God, our God, purify us from every defilement of flesh and spirit. Teach us to grow perfect in holiness through fear of you, so that with a pure testimony of our con conscience we may receive the portion of your holy gifts and be united to the holy body and blood of your Christ. Receiving them wor worthily may we have Christ living in our hearts and become temples of your Holy Spirit, especially O our God, let no one us become guilty nor weakened in soul or body by partaking of these awesome and heavenly mysteries of your uh, yours unworthy. Rather grant the Lord than even until our last brief we may worthy receive a portion of your holy gifts as a portion of for the journey to eternal life and for an acceptable defense before the fearsome judgment seat of your Christ. Then together with all the saints who have pleased your since time began, may we become partakers of the eternal blessings which you have prepared for those who love you, O Lord, and make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our <clears throat> Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For sign is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. <clears throat> Master, Lord, Father, of mercies and God of all consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, confirm, and strengthen those who have bowed their heads to you. Turn them away from every evil deed. Equip them for every good work and make them worthy to partake of the, these your most pure and life creating mysteries without condemnation <clears throat> for the remission of their sins and for communion of the Holy Spirit through the grace, the mercy, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people.
Christ, that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember, Remember me, O me. Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I'm about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting, amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. The saving grace of God has appeared to all. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Approach his fear of God and with me. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. O oh, come, all you faithful, joyful and triumphant. O oh, come ye, O oh, come ye to Jordan shore. Here is Christ Jesus, baptized in the waters. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, cry the Lord. See heaven open, hear the voice like thunder. O oh, see my beloved, my only son. See like a dove the Spirit now descending, O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him. Cry the Lord in the abundance of your tender mercy. Oh, you have shown forth your love of the oh Lord to every sinner giving light in darkness. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Cry the Lord. Yes, Lord, we greet you. Baptized on this morning, Jesus, to you be all glory. Teach us the baptized how much God loves. Oh, come, let us. 
us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. To Jordan's water, to Jordan's water, Christ comes to be baptized. John the forerunner, John the forerunner, now humbly steps aside. Christ our Lord is baptized, salvation is now realized. Skies of heaven open, God the Father spoken. O'er the Jordan, a dove, Holy Spirit of love, revelation from above. Christ our Lord is baptized, salvation is now realized. Skies of heaven open, God the Father spoken. O'er the Jordan, a dove, Holy Spirit of love, revelation from above. Three persons in God, three persons in God, are now revealed to us. Father and Son, Father and Son, Holy Spirit, one God. Christ our Lord is baptized, salvation is now realized. Skies of heaven open, God the Father spoken. O'er the Jordan, a dove, Holy Spirit of love, revelation from above. Saint John the Baptist, Saint John the Baptist, for shall release today. The Lamb of God, the Lamb of God, will wash our sins away. Christ our Lord is baptized, salvation is now realized. Skies of heaven open, God the Father spoken. O'er the Jordan, a dove, Holy Spirit of love, revelation from above. Christ our Lord is baptized, salvation is now realized. Skies of heaven open, God the Father spoken. O'er the Jordan, a dove, Holy Spirit of love, revelation from <coughs> above. Savior, people of God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided Trinity. For the Trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. <clears throat> May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory 
sing of your glory, for you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Arise now, that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life creating us awesome the mysteries of Christ. Let us worthy thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Master Christ our God, you manifested yourself in the Jordan and were baptized by John. You enlightened the people sitting in the darkness and the Father witnessed. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. You demand us worthy to become partakers of your glory through communion in your holy and life-giving mysteries, which you have given us to fulfill the representation of your death and resurrection. Through these mysteries, therefore, keep us in your holiness as we always remember you grace, your grace and live in you and live in you <clears throat> through your death and resurrection for us. Grant our con celebrants and those serving you divine mysteries full confidence before your awe-inspiring and fearful judgment seat. For you are the true God and eternal life, and to you we give glory and thanksgiving to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. At your baptism in the Jordan, O Lord, worship of the Trinity was revealed. For the Father's voice bore witness to you, calling you his beloved Son, and the Spirit in the form of a dove. Confirm the truth of these words. O Christ God, you appear and enlighten the world. Glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, have mercy. For peace from thy and for the salvation of our souls. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Holy Father Francis Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the Venerable Presbytery, the Deaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service, of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> for this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> for favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits on the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> for those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That these, these waters may be sanctified by the power, action, and the scent of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That the purifying action of the transcendent, transcendent, Trinity may descend upon these waters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That these waters may be given the grace of redemption, the blessing of the river Jordan by the power action and descent of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That Satan may be swiftly crushed beneath our feet, and for the, the solution for every plot conceived against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, <coughs> have mercy. That the Lord God may prevent our hands, name remained by the devil and make us worthy to receive the, his promises. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That by the descent of the Holy Spirit we may be enlightened with the light of understanding and pity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord God may send down the blessing of the river Jordan and sanctify these waters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That this water may be a sanctifying gift, a deliverance from thin sins, for the healing of soul and body, and the help in every necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That this water may be a spring for eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That it may avert every snare, of our enemies, visible and invisible, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who draw and take of it for the sanctification of their homes, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That it be for the purification of soul and body, for all who draw of it with faith and Partake of it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That through the sharing of these wa waters, we may be worthy to be filled with sanctification by the invisible pre presence of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord God may hear the supplication of us sinners and have mercy on us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us. O God, by your grace, Lord, mm -hmm. have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you is the all glory, honor and worship now, together with your Father, who is without beginning, and your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> o Trinity, transcendent, in essence, in goodness, and in divinity, almighty, invisible, and incomprehensible, who watch over all, O Creator of intelligence, being of nature endowed with speech, O goodness of utter and unapproachable brilliance, who enlighten everyone who comes into the world, enlighten me also, your unworthy servant, illumine, illumine, <clears throat> nay, the eyes of my mind, that I may venture to praise your immeasurable goodness and your might. Let my supplication on behalf of these people be wholly acceptable, so that my sins may not prevent the descent of the Holy Spirit upon this place, that without condemnation I may be permitted to cry out to you and say, We glorify you, O Master and Lover of us all, Almighty and Eternal King. We glorify you, Only Begotten Son, born of the of a mother without a father, and of a father without a mother. For in the preceding feast we have seen you as a babe, and in this present feast as a perfect man, appearing of our perfect, perfect God. Today is the time of fasting, and the ranks of saints and the angels have joined us in celebration. Today the grace of the all Holy Spirit in the likeness of a dove comes down upon the waters. Today shines the sun that never sets and the world sparkles with the light of the Lord. Today the moon is bright together with the the earth in the blowing radiance of its beams. Today the brilliant stars adorn, adorn the universe with the splendor of their twinkling. Today the clouds from heaven shed upon the human race a shower of justice. Today the uncreated one willingly permits the hands of his creatures to be laid upon him. Today the prophet and forerunner approaches the Lord and standing before him in awe witnesses the condescension of God towards us. Today, through the presence of the Lord, the waters of the river Jordan are changed into reminds. reminds. Today, the whole <coughs> universe, universe is refreshed with mystical streams. Today, the sins of the human race are blotted out by the waters of the river Jordan. Today paradise has been opened to all, and the sun 
of righteousness has shone upon us today at the hands of Moses the bitter water is changed into sweetness by the presence of the Lord today we are delivered from the ancient warning and like a new Israel we are saved today we are delivered from darkness and through the lights of the knowledge of God we are illuminated today the darkness of the world vanishes with the appearing of our God today the whole creation is brightened from on high to the errors are destroyed and the way of salvation is prepared for us by the coming of the Lord today the inhabitants of heaven rejoice with those of the earth and the inhabitants of earth with those of heaven today the noble and eloquent assembly of the faithful rejoices today the Lord comes to be baptized so that the human race may be lifted up <clears throat> today the one who never has to bow, bow and cleanse himself before his servant so that he may release our chains today we have acquire the kingdom of heaven indeed the kingdom of heaven that has no end today land and sea share in the joy of the world and the world is filled with rejoicing the waters beheld you O Lord the water beheld you and they trembled the river Jordan turns back on its course as it beholds the fire of the Godhead coming down upon it and entering in the flesh it in the flesh. The river Jordan turns back in its course as it beholds the Holy Spirit descending in the likeness of a dove and hovering over you the river Jordan turns back in its course as it behold the invisible made visible the creator existing in the flesh and the master in the likeness of a servant the river Jordan turns back in its course and the mountains leap for joy as they behold God in the flesh and the clothes give voice and are filled with all by the one who is coming light of light through God of through God the one who in the river Jordan has thrown to death sin the thro throne of error and the bounds of hell and granting the baptism of salvation to the world so also I your unworthy and sinful servant overcome with fear proclaim your great wonders and I cry reverently to you and say great are you o lord and wonderful uh, wonderful are your works no word suffices to give praise to your wonders great are you o lord and wonderful are your works no word suffices to give praise to your wonders. Great are you, O Lord, and wonderful are your works. No word 
suffices to give praise to your wonders. By your will you brought from all things from nothingness into being. <clears throat> by your mighty you control creation and by your providence you govern the world. You created all things from four elements and crowned the cycle of the year, cycle of the year with four seasons. The spiritual powers tremble before you, the sun praises you, the moon glorifies you, the stars serve you, light obeys you, the death tremble before you, and the springs adore you. You spread out the heaven, heavens like a tent, you established the earth upon the waters. You fringed the seas with be which is of sand. You powered forth air for breathing. The angelic powers serve you. The ranks of archangels worship you. The many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim stand before you or hover ho over, over you, yet they dare not gaze <clears throat> at your unapproachable glory, although you are God, boundless, indescribable, describable, and without beginning, you came upon earth and taking the likeness of a servant, became like one of us. Because of the death of your compassion, O Master, you could not bear to see mankind under the tyranny of the devil. And so you came to save us. We profess you goodness, we proclaim your mercy, and we do not Conceal your graciousness. You freed all human offspring by sanctifying the virginal womb through your birth. All creation praises you, appearance for you, our God, came upon earth by sending down your Holy Spirit from heaven, and you crushed the head of every dragon nesting in it. O loving King, come now, and through the descent of the Holy Spirit, sanctify this water. O loving King, come now and through the descent, descent of the Holy Spirit, sanctify this water. Now, O Lord King, come now and through the descent of the Holy Spirit, sanctify this water. Grant in the, in the grace of redemption and the blessing of the Jordan, make it a fount of <clears throat> incorruptibility, a gift of sanctification, a redemption of sins, a healing ocean for illness and destroyer of demons. Make it immune, immune to hostile power and fill it with angelic power so that all who drink, drink and receive of it may be purified in soul and body, cured of ills, sanctified in their homes, 
and given every benefiting, be, befitting grace. For you are our God, who through water and the Spirit rejuvenated <clears throat> our nature, grown old by sin. You are our God, who brought sin in the waters and the time of Noah. You are our God, who on the sea and at the hands of Moses delivered the Hebrews from the bondage of Pharaoh. You are our God who split the rock in the wilderness so that he, the waters gushed out and the valleys overflowed and the people were satisfied. You are our God who with fire and water and at the hands of Elijah delivered Israel from the errors of Baal. Wherefore, O Master, sanctify this water by your Holy Spirit. Wherefore, O Master, sanctify this water by your Holy Spirit. Wherefore, O Master, sanctify this water by your Holy Spirit. Grant sanctification, blessing, cleansing, and health to all who touch it and blessed with it, or who partake of it, O Lord, save your servants, our civil authorities, keep them in peace within your prote protective shadow, granting them all salutary, salutary request and eternal life. May your all-holy name be glorified by the elements, by men, by angels, by all that is visible or invisible, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all and to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear us. You sanctify the water when you consented to be baptized in the Jordan. Now bless us who through the bowing of our heads signify our servitude. Grant that we be filled with your sanctification by the partaking of this water, and let it be for the healing of our souls and bodies, O Lord, for you are our sanctification, and to you do we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship, and to your eternal Father, and to your all-holy, precious, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Во Йордані крещаючуся Тебі, Господи, Тройческоє явися поклонені є. Родителе, вола свідчительствувавши Тебі, возлюблена готя сина іменуя. І духовиді голубині звіствувавши, Слове все утверджені є. Явлейся, Христе Боже, і мир просвіщай. Слава Тебі, слава Отцу і Сину, 
и Святому Духу, и ныне и пресно и во веки веков. Аминь. Явился я сын неселенный, и свет Твой, Господи, знамена са на нас, во разуме поющих тя. Пришел я сын, явился я сын свет непреступный. At your baptism in the Jordan, O Lord, worship of the Trinity was revealed. For the Father's voice bore witness to you, calling your beloved Son and the Spirit in the form of a dove. Confirm the truth of these words. O Christ our God, you appeared enlightened and the world glory to you. You have revealed yourself to the world today and you light, O Lord, has set its seal on us. We recognize you and exclaim to you. You have come and revealed yourself, O oh, unapproachable light. At your baptism in the Jordan, O oh Lord, worship of the Trinity was revealed. For the Father's voice bore witness to you, calling you his beloved Son, and the Spirit in the form of a dove. Confirm the truth of these words. O Christ, our God, you appeared and enlightened the world. Glory to you. Let us praise in song, O faithful, the greatness of the favor of God to us. For having become man because of our transgressions, he is purified in the Jordan for our purification. He, the only pure and spotless one, who sanctifies me and the waters and crushes the heads of the dragons in the waters. Wherefore the bro brothers and sisters, let us take that hot water with joy. For the grace of the Holy Spirit is invisibly in pardon to all who in faith take thereof by Christ our God who is also the Savior of our souls. At your baptism in the Jordan, O Lord, worship of the Trinity was revealed for the Father's voice bore witness to you calling you his beloved Son and the Spirit in the form of a dove confirm the truth of these words. O Christ God, you appeared and enlighten the world, glory to you. You have revealed yourself to the world today, and your light, O Lord, has set his seal on us. We recognize you and exclaim to you, you have come and revealed yourself, O unapproachable light. At your baptism in the Jordan, O Lord, worship of the Trinity was revealed. For the Father's voice bore witness to you, calling you his beloved Son, 
and the Spirit in the form of a dove. Confirm the truth of these words. O Christ God, you appear and enlighten the world. Glory to you. You have revealed to the world, world today, and your light, O Lord, has set his seal on us. We recognize you and exclaim to you, you have come and revealed yourself, O unapproachable life. At your baptism in the Jordan, O Lord, worship, the Trinity was revealed. For the Father's voice bore witness to you, calling you his beloved Son, and the Spirit in the form of a dove confirm the truth of these words. O Christ God, you appeared and enlighten the world. Glory to you. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, Christ God. Our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, who for our salvation Dignity to be baptized by John in the Jordan. Have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, the Trinity of this holy church, and for our holy father, Basil of Great, Archbishop of Great Caesarea in Cappadocia, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and he loves us all. Ah, amen. To all people here present, to all our parishioners, and to our brother Wins, grant to Lord many years. God grant us many years, God grant us many years, God grant us many blessed years. In health and happiness, in health and happiness, God grant us many blessed years. Everyone may go up and get their holy blessed water. There are also containers up there if you need a little holy water bottle, a nominal fee, but you're welcome to go up and start getting your holy water. <laughs> 